Okay, this is yet another in a series of videos I'm making for my site, pfsensetup.com, a series of instructional videos in which I show you how to do some basic things with the PFSense firewall. And in this video, I'm going to just cover some of the advanced options for firewall rules in PFSense. And first thing I'm going to have to do, of course, is I'll just log into uh, the my pfsense box here so i'm going to type in the username and password and click on login and you'll notice that now we're on version 2.2.3 which is the most recent version as of this recording so the uh, update this morning went off without a hitch so which is uh, good and I'm going to apply a firewall rule to the DMZ in this video, and I'm going to make it so that it, it only is only enforced on Windows computers. So first, I'm going to go to firewall, and I'm going to go to scroll down to rules, and I clicked on rules, and Normally, we would just go go straight to the DMZ tab here um, and create a rule for for the DMZ. But in this case, the rule that I want to create is similar to a rule that I already created for for uh, the LAN uh, subnet. So I'm going to go to click on the LAN tab first. And what I want to do is you can see we have the, the block slash dot rule is in place here um, and uh, applies to all times. And what I want to do is I just want to create a block slash dot rule for the DMZ, but only enforce it on Windows computers. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right of the table entry here for block slash dot rule and I'm going to click on plus to add a new rule based on this one so I'm going to click on plus and you can see that it's set to block and uh, first th first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the interfe interface DMZ so that we can enforce it on DMZ and then scrolling down the source is going to be DMZ net now, not LAN net. So we want to enforce on on packets that are that that have as their source the DMZ net. The destination we can keep the same because we still want to block slash dot, and we have the, the correct IP address for for slash dot, and we can still call it block slash dot rule. Um, and one other thing that I'm going to change just to show what it's like when we reject packets instead of blocking them we're going to change the action here to reject and and uh as as you recall uh reject uh will will instantaneously uh re you know indicate that the that you know the the traffic was blocked uh whereas whereas block will just kind of hang up um so we change this to reject. Um, so we have all of our basic settings for the firewall ruler co correct. And this time we want to change one thing. We want to change source OS under advanced features. So we scroll down to advanced features. We want to change this so that it only applies to Windows machines. So I'm going to change source OS to um, Windows. And you can see there's a pretty extensive list of different operating systems that you can apply rules to look we, we even have bos when was the last time somebody used bos but but if you have a machine running and you need to apply rules only to bos machines you can do it here and here we go dos freebsd irix uh, is a variant of of unix that's run on sgi machines linux mac os so we want to scroll down here to Windows. I'll click on Windows here, and I think everything everything here is correct. So let me click on Save, and now our rule should be 
uh, should be set up here. Okay, we have uh, our block slash dot rule. Um, and we we also see a little purple circle here, which indicates that advanced options were used. In, case, in this case, we're only applying it to Windows machines. We need to click on apply changes for the rule to the rules to reload here. So we'll click on apply changes. And now to test the rule, we we have to access a computer on the DMZ network. And this computer is on the LAN net, so I can't use that. But I can remote we we can remote access a remote desktop into a machine on the DMZ net. And just to show what we're running here, we can actually um, do an IF config. And here it's the internet address is 192.168.3.101, which actually, if we go in here and look at the DHCP, um, actually, we can, yeah, we can look at it here, DHCP here. Um, actually, let's just, let's go to uh, the ARP table and we can show um here yeah this is on the dmz interface 192.16.1683.101 so we can go back here and now we can test the rule so if uh if we did everything correctly we should still be able to access slash dot because it's only blocked on windows machines and this is a Linux machine. You can see that we're running, uh, you know, we're running Mint Linux here. Um, so yeah, you can you should be able to see that here. Desktop is Linux Mint uh, 17. So uh, yes, yeah, so we can still access slash dot. So that seems to work. Now let's go in and change the rule. So that it it uh, it works on all machines, not just uh, applies to all machines, not just uh, Windows machines. So let's go in here. Okay, we need to go to the DMZ tab. So we went to firewall and clicked on rules. So we're going to go to the DMZ tab here, and we're going to go and edit the block slash dot rule so that it applies to. Uh, all operating systems, not just uh, Windows operating systems. So we scroll down here to Source OS, and we're going to change this to Any, and I'm just going to go down here and save it. And there we go. And we need to apply changes, and we'll go back to our. Linux box here, which is on the DMZ net, and we'll type in slash dot dot org, and okay, we get unable to connect. Firefox cannot establish a connection to the server at slash dot dot org, and you can see that it was it was instantaneous, and that uh, you know, we, which is what you might want to do. Um, you could you could put it on block. Uh, um, but it, if you if you have it on if you have it on reject, it'll be more obvious that the that perhaps that that the blocking was on purpose. Uh, and let's go back here and disable this rule, and we should be able to access uh, slash dot again on 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 the DMZ net. So let's go back and we'll do apply changes. And go back and we'll click on try again. And it looks like the page is loading. Yep. Okay, so we demonstrate one of the one of the advanced options for uh for uh PFSense here. Um I think I, I may do one more video on uh PFSense advanced options here and before we move on. Um and if you found this video helpful, you might consider uh, visiting my website, pfsensesetup.com.